document versus create. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But today what I'm going to talk about is the documenting versus creating statement that Gary Vee made and that really, really resonated with me. I'm going to share with you three reasons why you should document over creating. And so the first reason that I have here is the time limit and the content. So with time limit and content, what do I mean by this? In terms of um, creating versus documenting, if you are going to create something like a TV show or you know a YouTube channel that's something creative and stuff like that, usually these types of things have a time limit or a time constraint. Everything that has a beginning has an end. For example, there's been a lot of like popular channels like Epic Meal Time and uh, whatever channel that you're interested in. Usually these things they are fun and exciting in the beginning, but then after a while, kind of like okay, I get it, and then it comes to an end. When it comes to creating, sorry, when it comes to documenting versus creating, if you're documenting your life or you're documenting the stuff that's going on around you, then there is no time limit. The time limit is just your life, right? Whenever you decide to stop is when the channel would stop as well. So I think it's something that resonates with me a lot. And I'm actually someone that really, really enjoys uh, Gary Vee's content. I try and absorb whatever he has to say because a lot of people's lives have been, you know, affected in positive ways by him. And so I think this is a very, very key point of his. And reason number two is eliminating perfection. So with this one, you know, as a, somebody that creates stuff, you tend to find yourself trying to make the best product possible. So trying to make sure the video is edited perfectly or that you get that perfect shot or your acting is on point or many, many different things that come with creating. Um, this is something that um, I believe helps when you're documenting because you're not really, really focused on creating the perfect video or picture or whatever. You're just posting it as a memory and to see um, your progress as you go through whatever you're documenting. And uh, this is something that um, I remember when I was making certain videos in the beginning, I was struggling. I was like, oh man, I gotta make it perfect. I want people to be able to say they like my videos or that I'm doing a good job and whatever. But uh, I kind of started to let that go a little bit when I realized that this documenting thing is actually pretty cool. And it's something that is easy and very unique to every individual because every person is different. Everybody has their story to tell. And also we are um, have commonalities, right? You can connect with people and find out what it is that they like. And so you don't necessarily have to focus on perfection. And the last one I have here is documenting your journey. So with this one, if you're documenting, obviously instead of creating, you would be able to show people what your journey has been like for however long you've been documenting. So I've been doing this for one year and uh, people that do hop onto my channel and they didn't know me from before, they can tell like I was teaching prior and all that stuff when I was living abroad. But um, it's pretty cool. It's like a, an online library of yourself and um, it can be a roadmap for people that are younger than you, people that are trying to do something different, people are trying to see, you know, where your life's going. And as they're feeling like they're a part of your journey, they connect with you easier and they want you to succeed or they see something in you that attaches to them. So. I think um, documenting is something that's really, really important. And so there's not just Gary Vee that I take inspiration from. There's a lot of people that I you know, enjoy watching videos from, like Tony Robbins and um, a few others I can remember off the top of my head. But uh, I think this whole documenting versus creating idea is phenomenal because when you think about it, like, you know, the news, when you watch CNN or even TMZ or sports, these are all people that are just documenting what's taking place. Some people document sports, some people document news, and these are platforms that can continue going on and on and on and on and on forever. Um, Netflix, I guess, is a place where people create, right? So you create a show, you create a TV series or a movie and stuff, it has a beginning and has, a, has an end. And so this is a time period for me where I'm not traveling, I'm not going out and doing exciting things. So. I always think to myself, like, when am I going to make my YouTube video? Or when am I going to make a YouTube video? What is it going to be about? People have asked me, what is your channel about? And um, yeah, Ash is ambition, so it's about me. And uh, I know this video is a little different from the video that I usually do. 
but if you'd like you can watch this video right here that talks about YouTube versus reality and I kind of touched on this topic a little bit but didn't really dive as deep as I did in this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay dreaming, stay chasing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. You know, the difference between understanding who you are versus who you wish you were. I mean, if you want to be respected and really known, show, up. show the fuck up.